Hello. Um, thanks very much for coming. It's uh, amazing to see so many people here. Um, uh, I'm going to introduce you to someone you know. Um, this is Paul Tallinn, and he's going to introduce you to someone you, most of you will know, but some of you might not know. And then we're going to, uh, TV Smith is going to uh, do about 30 minutes, and uh, then we're going to talk about old venues, questions, whatever, talk. Just generally talk. Loads of old bollocks. Loads of old bollocks. Eh? Can I say bollocks? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, is that three bollocks already? That's four. Shit. Oh. Anyway, um, Paul Tallinn. Thank you very much, everyone. Lovely to see you all tonight. Really is much appreciated. Um, to London's Lost Music Venue Books. The first one at the Sir George Roby on the cover. Second one, the Rainbow. Um, TV Smith, different bands to play both of those venues. And so now solo, a massive hand, no talking between songs or during songs. Take loads of photographs, share them on you know, social media because I'm crap at doing it myself. <laughs> and uh, I'll try and retweet. Um, so without further ado, Mr. TV Smith, a big hand, please. Thank you. It's a, what a world where you have to say, I'll try and retweet. I never heard that in 1977. I've got the books, folks. Look, there they are. Brilliant. I've got the books, folks. It's going to be a tough crowd, obviously. Mostly dead. Mostly dead. Played to plenty of crowds, but never dead ones yet. So. We'll see how this goes. I'm indeed on the cover of uh, venues I've played on the cover of both of these books. And um, the second one was The Rainbow, yeah, which I played uh, with the adverts, supporting Iggy Pop, when I was nearly 21 years old. And around about that time I wrote this song about being nearly 21 years old. It's called No Time Be 21! Life's short, don't make a mess of it! anymore. I'm, uh, actually, I've just, I've, uh, I've just got my bus pass. Yay! 
yes, you see, you bust past punk, that's the future. <laughs> you laugh now, but that's what it's going to be. After the adverts, I had a band called The Explorers, which uh, played a lot of uh, a lot of the venues in Paul's book. Um, we played some of the big ones, like Victoria Venue, that I think is in the second book. And we are just kind of like a, 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 a kind of like uh, every week. Uh, at the uh, Fulham Greyhound. Everyone got, anyone got the Fulham Greyhound? Yeah. Fulham yeah. We were there all the fucking time. And, uh, and uh, we had a, a kind of minor hit single with our first, uh, our first single. This is it. This is called Tomahawk Cruise. first volume of the book and uh, I came across about like 40, more than 40 venues that I've played and uh, I thought I'll stop now because I've got a life. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the venues were with a, with a band I had called Cheap uh, in, in the 80s and Paul helped out uh, getting some gigs for us and uh, came along to a lot of them, uh, a lot of the London gigs particularly and um, so here's a song from Cheap, this is called My String Will Snap! Oh, 
photo pool. That's <laughs> not how I remember. It's fucking horrible. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later, okay. Yeah. After, after Cheap, I, I sort of did quite a lot of solo gigs and, uh, and played a lot of London venues that uh, disappeared then as well. Um, sometimes the salubrious Ad Lib Club, for, remember, for example, I remember. Um, the old Dingles. Is Dingles? Is, is it still there? Yeah, it's called Powerhouse. Mm. It's called Powerhouse. Another song, another one called Powerhouse. Not to be confused, you think they think up some new names, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, and uh, here's a song from that era of uh, my so-called career. Uh, this is called "It's Expensive Being Poor." Thank you. 
of uh, a lot of venues have closed down over the years and uh, of course over the last two years with coronavirus a lot more still have gone I reckon, I reckon Paul you're up for a third volume if not a fourth volume uh, it's really sad to see so many live music venues going um, it's been difficult for everyone over the coronavirus period I, I caught it in uh, 2020 March when I was out on tour with the uh, stiff little fingers and uh, I thought when I got home and recovered from uh, from uh, from uh, Corona and realised I was still alive, I thought, well, this is a bonus, and I'm going to write a song about it. So this is exactly what happened to me uh, over that period. This is called the Lucky Ones. After a winter of rain, they're empty in the shells again. The walls are closing in I'm taking a homebound train My tail between my legs A head full of hopelessness Nobody ever suspects it We're already infected Sometimes it's hard To believe it, it's hard To believe it, it's hard something to celebrate and you know who knows uh, you know what venues we're going to lose in the future it's uh, you know live music is really our well that's my life and blood and I'm sure it is yours too are you with me on that yeah. of uh, what you should never do in a half hour set is do a completely new song <laughs> do you see where I'm going with this <laughs> do you want to hear one yeah. so it's, it's so new that it's set in the future 
<laughs> when everything you, 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 you like is banned. So oh, what a shame that's gone. <laughs> you never know what you've got till it's gone. That's the, that's the thing. So um, 
I'll, I'll play you Gary Gimble's Eyes. What do you think? Yeah. There is a there is a but. I'm going to do a punk rock poem first. Wait. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to be cabaret, but I'll do a punk rock poem first. Yeah. Better. So uh, this is my punk rock poem, and it's called My Punk Rock Poem. <laughs> it was strange being in a punk rock band. People gobbed at us, then shook us by the hand. We played every toilet in this green and slimy land. First of all for 15 quid, then later on a grand. It's back to 15 quid now. So. <laughs> 30 days of madness, touring with the damned. Turning up to soundcheck to find out we'd been banned. Driving back to London in the minivan. Didn't get to the USA as planned and looking back, we didn't change the music scene a lot, but we did have one hit single and supported Iggy Pop. <laughs> and sometimes people tell me that the adverts changed their lives, and that's nice. It was great being in a punk rock band. I suppose, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't care, we don't give a damn. The wonders don't care, we don't give a damn. 